Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Sunday Night Battlegrounds here at Rage Fight Championship. We're live on Res TV, back in prime time once again. And we're opening up tonight with a pretty solid match coming up. As we can see here, Piper Dollinger making her way to the ring. She's scheduled to take on Susan Breed, who is in the back prepared for a match. And here we are, folks. Sinister Susan Breed making her way to the ring. As you can hear the jeers from this near-capacity crowd here at the Constrictor Arena tonight. They were lined up early to get in, and who can blame them? Main event tonight is going to be for the Unified Women's Championship. We've got Sherry the Beast Denimore going up against Tori Andretti. We're just about ready to go. First match of the evening going to be two out of three rounds. And presiding over the event tonight, Rage President Royce Boa. Both competitors in their corners indicating they're ready to go and we're just waiting for the opening bell. And here we go, we're underway tonight, Sunday Night Battlegrounds, and we've got Piper Dollinger going up against Susan Breen. As as you can see, Piper Dollinger, a master of capo, and it's a very difficult style to go up against. We'll see how Susan Breed does here tonight. You can see that capo style very unorthodox. It looks almost like a cross between dancing and gymnastics, but at the same time it's uh, very deadly. The blows are very, very, very tough. And it's also a very elusive style. It's hard to track down your opponent when they're spinning like that. And so far you can see Susan Breed is having a lot of trouble trying to find her way here. She just can't seem to get a handle on Piper Dollinger. And Piper's not standing still to let her have a shot at her either. Both competitors start out relatively slow. Hasn't been a whole lot of strikes so far. But now they're kind of meeting each other in the middle of the ring and... Throw in a few big ones. So far, Piper Dollinger getting the better, but Susan Breen's starting to really find her own here. She's she's going to probably try to wear out Dollinger a little bit, try to get her a little bit tired, slow her down a little bit. Because that's the only way she's going to be successful. There's no question about that, the way this match is going. And you see some good blows being exchanged back and forth. Not a whole lot between these two fighters in the early going. One thing you'll notice, a lot of single strikes. Not a whole lot of combinations being landed. But there was a nice one by Piper Dollinger. But Susan Breen comes back with one of her own. So they seem to be trading blows pretty much in the early going, one for one. I've scored a fight, I'd call it pretty even so far. And speaking of even, there's not really a clear favorite in this fight here. Both fighters got a solid reputation for hard work. Nothing flashy, they're both considered hard workers. Fundamentally sound, nothing too nothing too flashy, and you can see here that's the kind of fight that we have so far. No big knockout blows, no big flurries of combinations, just solid striking. And there's two minutes left in the round. So I wouldn't want to be a judge trying to score this one. This one's pretty much right down the middle as far as I can see. Dollinger and Breed putting on a nice show here tonight for this big crowd here at the Rage Constrictor Arena. And the many more thousands watching all across Second Life on Res TV. 
Second Life's Action Station. And speaking of action, we got a dandy going here. I think so far that Capo style may have the advantage, but it's certainly too close for me to call. I wouldn't want to be making a call on this one. You can see Susan Breed. She seems to be the one that's slowing down a bit. I think the, the Capo is actually getting to her. She's taken a few pretty decent blows, and uh, she's looking a little down. One minute left in the first round, folks. One minute to go. Both competitors are going to be turning it up at the end of the round, trying to maybe score a knockdown and get off to a good start here and win round one. But it's going to take a pretty much a miracle shot to score a knockout here. Both competitors, neither have landed anything too solid. Some good jabs, some decent strikes. But not really that big shot that really rattles your opponent. Both seem to be in pretty good shape in here. Now we're down to the last 10 seconds. And it looks like this one's going to go to the scorecard. Susan Breed and Piper Dollinger. And there's the bell. And there's the bell. And we'll wait for Rage President Royce Boa. For Dollinger, a very close round, but the judges made the tough call. Both fighters are ready for round number two, and there's the bell. Piper Dollinger looking to finish it away. Sinister Susan Breen, she's looking to solve her. And you know, she was talking to her coach in the corner there at ringside in between rounds, and they were having a heated discussion over something. Maybe there's going to be a little bit of change of strategy here for Susan Breen. Let's see. And the who's who of Second Life fighting here in the crowd tonight here at the packed house at the Constrictor Arena. We got men's unified champion Derek Colt right in there behind the ring girls getting a close look at the action. And you have to think he's going to be looking for that world title shot against Pez String. That would be a dandy fight. There's no question about that. And speaking of dandy fights, later on this evening, your main event of the evening, Carrie the Beast Denimore going up against Tori, Bedtime Story Andretti. It's going to be for the Women's Unified Championship. And that's the one that the crowd here is really waiting for. Everyone with great anticipation. Oh, we got a pretty, wood, pretty good one here to start the evening. We got Piper Dollinger really showing Susan Breen a few things here. Well, we have another close round again. Not too much between these fighters. So far, pretty much right down the middle, but Susan Breen has to get that sense of urgency. She can't, she can't afford to just sit back and... Let Piper take the fight to her. She has to make something happen here. She's down one round already. And of course, Piper with that unorthodox capo style really being very effective in there tonight. Susan Breen still hasn't figured out how to solve that. And this crowd really seems to be behind Piper Dollinger. She's a fan favorite. She does some modeling on the side in Second Life, so she really has to be careful in there. Her face is her bread and butter, so to speak, so she doesn't want to take too many blows to the face, that's for sure. And thus far in this round, she doesn't have to worry too much. She's really taking the fight to Susan Breen in there. And we're just about nearing the two-minute mark of this second round. This could be the deciding round, but Susan Breen hopes not. She wants to live to fight round number three. But right now, it's not looking good. Ladies and gentlemen, joined at ringside, as always, every week by my beautiful broadcasting partner, Paula Wilcox. She's broadcasting to the hearing impaired here tonight. 
And it uh, looks like this one could be over early. Piper Dollinger, knockout blow. She has taken Susan Breen down with one of those crazy capo kicks, and that's it for fight number one. Piper Dollinger with a very, very impressive performance here. And an unbelievable win by Piper Dollinger, and that's going to move her up the ranks. And the crowd loves it. First fight of the night goes to Piper Dollinger.